Hi, it's me, Vicky Marie. Uh, just a quick ver uh, verdict. Yeah, it is about a verdict. Just a quick video this morning. First of all, I've got a lot of videos uh, to make today, but this one is another, well, it's one of those bittersweet good results. A verdict's been reached at the Amy Horrick trial, and she was a sex therapist. Uh, that was found uh, on the floor outside her apartment and her ex-partner from 10 years earlier um, was on trial for sort of obsessive stalking and murder and the verdict is in. It won't bring Amy back but I think you'll agree it's a good verdict so let's have a little look. This happened yesterday. To the beginning. Uh, number one, Lord, is it correct that the jury has a verdict? Yes. Thanks to Law and Crime for the video. Hope they don't do me for copyright. Is it that the jury has a verdict? Yes. You can have the verdict form over to the bailiff, please. It doesn't, he's sort of stone-faced, it doesn't look very confident. Uh, sorry, can I just say that I have done a video on this case. I'll link that to the description box. I'll put the link in so that if you don't know about this case, you can see the story of what happened to, the mo uh, to beautiful Amy Horrock. All right, uh, Mr. Clerk, if you would read the verdicts onto the record, please. Sorry, just you just wonder what goes through these people's minds at this time. I mean, look, did you know he's murdered this his beautiful ex girlfriend? Um, just because. Well, I don't know. He said, well, you watch the video, you'll see the story, the, the build up to it, said she ruined his life, etc. But more than likely just because she didn't want to be with him anymore. Court of the state of California, County of Los Angeles, Department 107, case number BA485380, people of the state of California versus Garrett Firsthouse. As to count one, with the jury the above entitled action finding defendant, Garrett Firsthouse, guilty of the crime of murder in the first degree, in violation of Penal Code Section 187, Subsection A, a crime as charged in Count 1 of the information. Further... So, guilty of murder in the first degree. So, that's good as well, because it could, it was difficult to prove whether he had pushed her over the balcony or whether she had jumped over the balcony, but really in each case, if she had jumped over the balcony, she would have been because she was so terrified of him. He'd taken a syringe route. You know, he was in her, he'd broken into her apartment. So, but there was this talk of maybe it being like a manslaughter or second degree murder. By the allegation that Gareth Perthouse, Gareth Perthouse intentionally killed Amy Harwick by means of lying in wait within the meaning of Penal Code Section 190.2, subsection A, subsection 15, to be true. Dated September 28, 2023, jury number one, four person. So count two, we the above, we the... You see the court, the uh, court sheriff there was just handing some tissues to someone who's sitting at the back here. I don't know if that's one of his relatives or one of Amy's relatives. Jury, the above entitled action finds the defendant, Gareth Persaud, guilty of the crime of burglary in the first degree in violation of penal code section 459. A crime as charged in count two of the information. We further find the allegation that a person was present in the residence during the commission of burglary to be true. Dated September 28, 2023, juror number one, four person. His eyes to me look like if you saw the video of Taylor Sh uh, Business or Sha Business or whatever his stupid name is, um, that I put on yesterday, her eyes look like that, like little piggy eyes that he's got. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, are these your verdicts? So say you once, so say you all. Yes. yes. Thank you. Would either side like the jury poll? Yes. 
please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, as I call your jury number, please answer yes or no to the following question. Are these your verdicts and findings on the special allegation? Jury number one. Yes. Jury number two. Yes. Now, I presume she's the defense attorney or something. And I've said before, I could not be a defense attorney. How could she can sit next to him after what he's done to that woman? And he's not the worst, you know, he's killed one woman. These defense attorneys have to sit next to serial killers, child killers, you name it. I, I know it's important everyone's innocent till they're proven guilty, but I couldn't do it. Yes. Yeah. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number six? Yes. Juror number seven? Yes. Juror number eight? Juror number nine? Yes. Juror number 10? Yes. Juror number 11? Yes. Juror number 12? Yes. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, obviously this now completes your jury. Now, she looked along all of them, looked at each one as they said yes. Wonder if she was trying to gauge, you know, how convinced they were. You know, I don't know. He didn't look at anyone. Service. I want to thank you. I gave you an estimate when this case started. I was on for saying that the COVID illness was going to hit. And you were very diligent, I got to say that. And I thank yeah, so this is a case that's been delayed a long, long time because of COVID. Thank you all, even the alternates. Uh, sometimes you're the unsung heroes in this as well. Thank you so much. Uh, but that's the only way our system works, and that's with your participation. And uh, uh, I wish you all luck, and you are dismissed at this time. Thank you for serving. Well, that's nice, the judge thanking the jury. I don't know if you've ever done jury service. I've done it once. It's an experience. Um, but yeah, so that's it. He's guilty. So sentencing will follow at some point. I'll let you know what the sentence is. It's surely got to be life without parole. Uh, what else can it be? You know. So there you go. A little bit of good news this morning. Um, again, one of these bits. So we've had a little bit of good news. This, so we know that Sarah Sheriff's parents or, or father and stepmother, they're in custody. They're going to uh, be on trial next year. Suzanne Morphew's remains have been found uh, and we'll see what comes of that. And um, and today, uh, Purse House or whatever his name is, Amy Harrick's, her name's much more important, isn't it? Amy Harwick's um, ex-partner has been found guilty. But, you know, they're all bittersweet because the victims in those cases, those, the little girl and the two women, they will never come back, of course. But it's still, it's some, it's justice, at least, that he's been found guilty. Now, I'm sure an appeal process will start, uh, you know, that's just what happens. But at the end of the day, uh, he's, they sounded quite convinced, the jury there, didn't they? So we'll see what the sentence is and I'll bring you that to you as soon as uh, I know what it is. So there you go, justice for Amy Harwick. I hope it gives her family, her friends, a little bit of peace at least, knowing that he's staying in prison um, and rest in peace, Amy, and it... You know, it seems like she was a beautiful person. Another one gone from this world too soon. Okay, I'll see you soon in the next video. Until then, may your God go with you. Thank you for watching. Bye.